Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. In this video, we're going to be talking about the lasso tool or the free select tool as it's called in GIMP. So what I want you guys to do in the beginning is just open up the file we're going to be using by going to file open. We're going to be using window one as we did in previous videos. Only this time we're going to start to make some actual changes to our file and you'll see this project start to come together as we continue on. First we're going to prepare GIMP. So we go to Layer, Transparency, Add to Alpha Channel. And then we're going to hold Control and Mouse Zoom In. And what we're going to do for the remainder of this video is we are going to use the Free Select tool to cut out these glass window panes. You may have been wondering why we didn't use the rectangle select tool and already have two of these cut out by now. Well the reason is because the rectangle has perfect right angles. But if you look closely, this window doesn't. So if we select the free select tool, You'll notice down here there's not very many tool options. You may be familiar if you watch the other videos on what these modes are. And that's a good thing because we want to be able to choose the mode for our free selection. And the feather edges feature which not a lot of people use when making free selections but I think they'd be happier with their results if they did use it. So. For this video, we are going to select a feathered edge of two pixels. And the nice thing about the free select tool is after you have a starting point, you can just simply um, choose a straight path for your next point in the selection. So I'm just going to choose a straight path across here and click and now I have part of my selection remember it's not a selection yet because it's not marching ants and I haven't completed the circle and I'm going to come straight down here for another straight edge and I'll just control zoom my uh, mouse wheel so I can see what I'm doing that looks pretty good and then I will pan over by clicking my mouse wheel in like a button. That looks good too. And we'll come up here and complete the selection. So now you see, once you go full circle, your area becomes a selection. So I think that looks pretty good. We don't have to make it perfect. Then let's press the delete key. And if the delete key is not working for you, you can always go to edit, clear. So anyway, now what we've done is we've basically cut a hole in our image. What does that mean Well, we cut a hole in our image? Well, as I've shown you on other videos, I'm zooming out right now so you can see. Underneath our image, just uh, think of this as a photograph. You're laying a photograph down on your table. And what I've done is gotten a an exacto knife and I've cut out this window pane with my exacto knife and now I'm looking at the table so if I move my picture see this is the table this is called the canvas but it's really uh, it's like your imaginary table so I've cut a hole right through my image and now I can see the table. And this is going to be really critical later on when we get into layers. But for now, um, let's just continue on using the free select tool. So I'm going to hold control and press Z to undo all those moves. Oops, I went too far. I'm going to do control Y to redo that. Okay, so let's continue on. Another thing about the free select tool is it wouldn't be the free select tool if all you could do was straight lines. So let's start here in this corner and you'll notice 
that this is a pretty good straight line but now there's not really a, a clear straight line I could just clip that off I could just clip the edge of the of the curtains off but I don't want to instead of what I'm going to do instead of choosing my endpoint what I'm going to do is come back here and I'm going to click and hold my mouse button and now what this enables me to do is to draw a path by moving my mouse and when I release it I can go back to choosing straight lines so I'm just just going on the edge of this curtain where the uh, the dark and the light meet but I want to stay a little bit more outside so we have a nice edge there it looks like the the sun is glowing off the edge of the curtain so I'm just going to continue on these are pretty straight but I don't want it to look kind of tacky so I'm going to try to follow a little bit of the curvature of the curtain as we go down once again like I said I can also click my mouse button and simply drag uh, a custom path that doesn't have to be a straight line. I'll come down here and I'll click there and just continue with my selection. When I come full circle, you'll notice that now I have my marching ants which means my selection has been completed and now I can just press the delete key or edit clear so I'm getting rid of that so I'm just going to continue around here deleting all of these window panes using the free select tool there's not really much more to the free select tool so I'm going to continue doing this and when we pick up on our next video I'm going to have all of these window panes removed including these these edge ones and these trapezoids shaped window panes and these and you notice that there is some areas up here we're going to get to these later in another video and I'm definitely going to get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of that little one all the way around anyway guys that's the free select tool I will see you guys next time and if you're following along make sure you get rid of all these window panes where the glass is and just leave the trim and then I will see you guys on the next video